Hello everyone. The lead investigator Brigadier Bongani Kininda has denied offering accused number two Bongani Danzi three million rand for a confession implicating the right people in former Orlando Pirates goalkeeper Senzo Mayua's murder. Gininda was being cross-examined in a trial within a trial in the Houting High Court in Pretoria on Thursday morning, the day after his affidavit named Kelly Kumalo as the person who allegedly paid for Mayua to be killed. Mayua was fatally shot by armed intruders at the Kumalo family home in Fosleras on 26 October 2014 in what has been labeled as a robbery gone wrong. However, the court heard this week that Mayua's murder was not a robbery gone wrong but a contract killing. On Thursday, advocate Tulani Mgomezulu for accused number one and two told Gininda that his client had accused him of offering him three million rand to implicate the right people in the murder and was assaulted at various locations for a confession to that effect. Danzi further denied having signed any document purported to be confession on the morning of 19 June 2020. According to Mgomezulu, as informed by his client, Gininda went to Danzi on 21 June 2020, apologized to him for assault by police officers for a confession and offered him a 3 million rand. Gininda replied and said, I'm shocked about the claim that police bribed the suspect. I've never heard of a case where the state or police officers offer accused persons 3 million rand. I've never heard of it. It's my first time. It's absolutely not true. It's a lie. There's no budget that I have even to make such an offer. I didn't have a budget of 3 million rand for the unit during that time. I don't have it. Even if it was available, why would I do that? The accused cooperated with me on the 18th and told me he was willing to make a statement voluntarily. On the 19th in the morning, he made the confession. What is the point of going to him on the 21st? For what promises? There were no promises made. I met him on the 22nd. Gininda said he only met Ndanzi in Carltonville on 18 June for his alibi that never was and then met him again on the 19th and said I did meet him on the 18th June 2020 at Carltonville Mine. This was when we were following the alibi who said he was at work. This information was found to be false. Subsequent to that meeting and utterings that he was willing to make a confession, I left with Sergeant Mohane, that is from Carltonville. I never saw him again or traveled with him and Sergeant Mohane. We went our separate ways. I only met him the following day in the evening. I was never in Albertine. Geninda went on to say that, based on the information collected on his detainment, there was no indication that he was assaulted because I am the one who organized the OB's entry subsequent to the mechanical fault that was reported by Sergeant Mohane. I know he was taken through the OB registers in the morning of the 19th, booked out for court proceedings, and nowhere does it reflect that he was assaulted at any stage when he was there. The confession was made on 19 June 2020 and concluded before midday. Gininda met the suspect later that evening and there was no indication that the suspect had a complaint of being assaulted. What I know is that there was an understanding between me and the accused number two that he is freely and voluntarily willing to take a confession to an independent officer. Subsequent to that, arrangements were made for a confession to be taken and it was indeed taken. The document I received from Lieutenant Rapado in his office in Annadale was signed on the portion where the accused was supposed to sign and I didn't get any indication even when I met him later that evening of the 19th because the confession was concluded just before midday that he had no complaints, I did not see any visible injuries on him. Geninda said he did not witness any assault either. Because it was a Sunday, that's when you apologized to him, you requested him to work with you, to cooperate, and that's why you offered him three million. You offered him three million as long as he's going to make sure that he's implicating the right people. Mm. Yeah, I've heard it, my lord. This is a first. I mean, I've heard visions. I'm shocked. Anyway, my lord, that is up... about the amount of uh, about the, the amount the bribe. That, the bribe that the, actually the police are bribing accused or suspects. I've, I've never heard. It's a first time where the state 
or rather the police officers are offering accused persons or suspects three million. I've, I've never heard it. It's, it's the first time. Mm. But I must say, my lord, it's absolutely not true. Uh, it's a lie. Uh, I'll put it in that strong context. It's absolute lies. There's no budget, my lord, that I have even to make such an offer. I didn't have a budget of three million for the unit during that time. It's, it's, I didn't have that budget. Let's just start there. I don't have it, my lord. Now, and I don't know even if it was available, my lord, why would I do that? The accused cooperated with me on the 18th. He told me that he's willing to make a statement freely and voluntarily. Subsequent to that, on the 19th in the morning, he made a confession. The confession was made in the morning of the 19th. What is the point of going to him on the 21st and offer him whatever promises? There was no promises made. Ah, uh, see, that, yeah, that, yeah. So you're saying, by the way, the confession was made on the 19th? It was made on the 19th. So, yes. okay. so, so, so on the 21st, which is being put now to me, my lord, the confession was made. We, I met the accused and discussed the issues of the confession with, with him on the 18th, 19th it gets made. Um, we meet again on the 19th in the evening uh, in Peking. Then he gets taken to, to, to Primrose Police Station. From then, my lord, I never met him. That is now from the 20, the 20th in the morning hours. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.